Hopefully everyone is doing well. I'm proud to say that we are now able to start the second chapter, the second Mishnah in Pirkei Avos. Rebbe Omer, Rebbe Yehuda Hanasi, who was the, uh, the curator of the Mishnayot, uh, says the following, What is the proper path that a person should pursue? Whatever is a credit to oneself, as well as uh, behaviors that um, get the esteem of your fellow, uh, your fellow human beings. Be careful with a quote-unquote light mitzvah, with a more uh, as as a more weighty mitzvah, because you don't really know the degrees of reward of the various mitzvot. Calculate the cost, the sacrifice of having to do a mitzvah against its potential reward. And same thing, calculate how much pleasure you'll get out of sinning versus the price you'll have to pay for doing so. Look at three things, and then you won't come to sin. Know what's above you. Ayin roa, an eye that sees, ve'ozen shomas, an ear that hears, v'chol ma'asacha b'sefer nechtavim, and all your actions will be recorded in a book. Let's go through this one by one. Uh, <clears throat> the proper path a person should take is something that's both an internal credit and satisfaction as well as an external credit and satisfaction. It doesn't mean that you um, do everything uh, for other people to impress them. It merely means, from a common sense perspective, do things that contribute to society. Do things that people will appreciate. Do things that people will be proud of you doing and obviously not uh, vice versa. Okay. Um, in terms of the the next part, in terms of doing, uh, in terms of mitzvot that are perceived as light versus mitzvot that are perceived as heavy, so we're t- we're we're told here that we don't really know we don't really know the the uh, the order of things. Rabbi Wine actually puts it a slightly different way. He says that uh, sometimes you'll come across what you think is a light mitzvah, and you'll think to yourself, I can ignore this for right now, because I'm looking at the grander uh, mitzvah that's around the corner, that I'll be able to do that mitzvah, but the mitzvah that's in front of me right now, it's inconsequential to me. So Rabbi Hunan is saying, no, that, that would be making a mistake, to forgo a light mitzvah, because you see potentially a heavier mitzvah, a weightier mitzvah, down the road. Uh, Rabbi Wine says that when he went fundraising, uh, a lot of people said, um, you know, when you're ready for the roof, you know, I want to put the roof on the building. And Rabbi Wine says, yeah, but right now we're just working on the foundation. And uh, so, you know, people sometimes overlook the more simple uh, tasks in life that in favor of the grander tasks in life, and really both are important. <clears throat> he says, because you don't know the reward of mitzvah, and he tells a heartwarming story where he has a student in Israel, this is Rabbi Wine, uh, who tells him that the reason that he was able to attend this yeshiva in Israel is because he had a grandmother that financed the trip. His parents, on the other hand, were more hesitant to do so, but the grandmother um, was proud to do so. Why was she proud to do so? Because there was once a a rabbi that was um, especially nice to her and said a kind word to her, and that's what inspired her to sponsor her grandson to attend yeshiva in Israel. Now, that rabbi did not know that that 
small act of of, uh, of a kind word uh, to this lady um, will, down the road, um, you know, allow her to, um, or so to speak, persuade her to send her grandson to yeshiva. And so that rabbi, um, we can attribute um, a lot of future uh, future fruits of this uh, this student's labor can all be attributed back to this rabbi um, who at the time just did a minor thing, but it turned out to be a much greater thing. We close off by saying, oh, and then the next thing is that you should calculate um, how good it is to, how good it feels to sin versus what it's going to cost you, and as well as how much it's, it takes to sacrifice for a mitzvah versus how much reward you'll get from that. And uh, a lot of people make decisions in the moment, and yet our mission is saying to take a more of a long-term glance uh, at our actions and to uh, really think about them before we do them. And that connects to the last part of the mission, which is that if you look at three things, you won't, you think of uh, three, um, three things, you won't come to sin, um, that God will always see, hear, and record everything that you do, right? Nowadays, we certainly have, um, you know, bugging devices and uh, hidden cameras, um, so... You know, these things are definitely, we, we can relate to them, right? And if we just think that all of our actions are recorded in this way, uh, we'll be uh, hopefully more inspired to be careful uh, with all of our behaviors. And like the beginning of the Mishnah says, to pursue behaviors that are a credit to ourselves, as well as earn us the esteem of our uh, fellow human beings. Have a Shabbat Shalom, a good weekend.